Our text this morning, <laughs> T.I. and Ashen, Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 to 36. And then bookmark that. That's, that will be our, our text. And then turn with me to the book of Luke 12, 52 to 53. <laughs> Same event, but different books. <laughs> Probably this is the hardest, the best, the most blessed thing that God made for us. Was meant to be there. Nothing was accidentally placed there. One of the main weapons in the hands of, of atheists today is the questioning of the genuineness of this truth. A lot of truth. God actually became man. Na liu tino tangata le atua. Na fa nau yesu ile taupo o le atua wa avea matangata. Mori fa moe moe ya ina ia toe maua lan tangata na fai. Wa paso la ale mafo faul tangata. Even the Christians today, even uh, those who have been going to church all their lives, still not coming to a conclusion whether this is true or not. <laughs> Even Christians. You know what? There are some Christians that are now tending to not celebrating Christmas just because of that reason. Stupid, wrong reason. Who cares what day? Who cares when we're going to celebrate? What we are celebrating with all the Christians and God's people in the world is this, the truth that God actually became man. The truth that God fulfilled his redemptive work, all the promises, all the, the prophecies in the Old Testament now come into a conclusion, come into fulfillment in the body of Christ. Iletino, iletoya fio mayo yesu ma'avea matangata. Or tato yaila, or tato faftaya, or patipatia, or famana twin or kirishimasi. Not so much with the day, not so much with, with the tradition and all those things. We don't really care about the lights, we don't really care about the trees, we don't really care whether the pagan religions celebrate their own celebrations. We don't care if we celebrate together. They celebrate their paganism. We celebrate Christianity, we celebrate Christ. We celebrate the truth. That is what I want to share with you. And that is this statement. It sounds interrogative, but it's a statement. What Christmas really brings. Many Christians and non-Christians together still not really click into this truth, not really get this truth. Well, uh, I don't mean to cramp your style and your celebration, but what I what want you to really see is what really that Christmas brings. Christmas. 
o le kemi o le file mu o le kemi o le fia fia o le temi o le fama na twina o le temi o le pati e sa e moni a yele si mea piko sili ona onga onga o te mana o te iloa ile winga moni lava o le kiosi masi this morning fana o le tua i really want you to listen well please because this is probably the first time you hear this kind of christmas sermon <laughs> Hundreds of years before the birth of Christ, Isaiah prophesied these words. Listen, for, my, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Guess what? It's the next one. Prince of Peace. Lea li o le file mu. Couple of hundred years after that, the angels came to these shepherds. Sao le angelu ile o le ma moene malfe au fa pea. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those on whom His favor rests. Amai, o le vi inga ile tua ime au pito alunga, ma le manuia ile lalolangi, o le fina ngalo alofa, ita ngata, kana ngoa Yesu yunga au so, fa maafana fana Yesu, matu ina atu la toa eo, e moli ma watu ilo nsu afa, amai kala Yesu, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Peace, 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 it's always peace. But really, there is no peace. Big question for you, Charles, you see, why there is no peace. I say, I I and it's dependent on its context. If I'm going to learn all of the new, where is going to be found? I know the man will tomorrow. To pay or the law will tomorrow. I know. So I'm going to move all of my law law. I tell you, I'm going to fire for wing. I know. The wing will face a more kako. Or the or the feel a move. Peaceful. Feel a move. Learn how ya learn from a tear. We man will allow lot to. I can let go of people. Men are never make a Jesus go if I may. May do not let your hearts be troubled. Why? Because he says, I let you have my peace. Go with peace. Allu mal man will. Allu mal feel a move. Allu mal mouth to know. Allu mal learn from a tear. Allu mal far learn from pain. Saul lola yale Jesus. And certainly, there was every reason to anticipate that the arrival of the Messiah will produce much peace. Do not suppose. In other words, do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. You and I, one of the first truths about Christianity that we've known is, is, is this. <laughs> there is nothing impossible to God. There is nothing impo impossible with Him. He can do anything whenever I want to, however I want to. There's nothing impossible. This is the question. Is God failed to, to bring about this peace? Well, I'm a fire to a or not my feeling move level or yamai. Well, I'm a fire to a or a fat on one of all for longer. A lua mea of a pair of fail to a lua a pepello perfect hunger. Even Jesus himself was a liar, but that's not the truth here. Do you remember our golden rules when we interpret the Bible? One and foremost, the top rule in Fali or Spayola, there is no contradict. Let's say contradiction in the film by Yale Tua. Well, for Linga, my little Tupui, what for ten night? Like I told you, if something seems contradict, I say, me for Linga for ten night, a lot of Kuspayas say, Oh, I'll let I go with Valea. There's something I still yet to know. And that's the case here. There's something that we need to know. A Yale Mele, a more mere tattoo, Lotato, Lua, Falomo, Kalan, Fila, Moon of Akali. Listen to what the Prince of Peace say. From his very mouth comes this word. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace 
to the earth. I want to to my natu, I want to to my fau fau, wa sa wa va tu le file mu ile la lolangi. O te le sa wa va tu le file mu a o le pelu. What Christmas really brings? What Christmas really brings? What Jesus really came to bring? O le sa o le va le mia sa Jesus e mai. O le file mu le ve ve se la uli. La le file mu le ki ngai kali ngai angelu ki ngai kali ngai perfecta. A sa Jesus e mai. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. You know for now le tua ngai pe long ye ka ko this whole time. That's why you have a wrong view and perspective of Christianity. Why? Because you were told a wrong gospel. And that's what, and many times Christianity move and operate the church in a way, in the same way the world operates. Why? Because we were told a lie. And I told you many times with this, church is not the world. We have nothing to do with this world. Everything under our disposal, we want to use anything we want to, but according to the word of God. When we serve God, we serve God according to His Word. Amen. We were not given the freedom to, to worship God in any way we want to. No, we don't have that freedom. We worship God as He guides us, as He leads us. That's why we are entwined with us, with His Holy Spirit and His Scripture. Why? So we can worship Him according to His Word. Saula Yesu, Femakara Yesu, in the Mulimawa Lucas, Fululu or Matasi Femai. Do not think I came to bring peace on earth. <laughs> Do you think I came to bring peace on earth? One is a statement. Matthew stated a statement. Luke brought forth a question. <laughs> Imagine if you were there and look. And Jesus asked this question. <laughs> Do you think I came to bring peace on earth? What would be your resounding answer? It's a big yes. Yes, yes. For me, yes. Koke ma natu na usawa ma le file mu. Ole tato tali. Yoi. For me, my Isaiah. For me, my prophet. For me, my angel. I can look at Jesus. For me, look at Jesus. No. He asked a rhetorical question that the answer was so obvious. The answer is no. He says, no, I tell you, but division. <laughs> Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Still, Lela Velinga, Ile Peace, what really is that peace? Olearing, I feel a moo, Lelang Amanuia, Queva Island, Carai Seva, May, Isaiah 9 6, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The son was born to us, the child was given to us, therefore, the peace was for us, it's not for the whole world. It's a reconciliation between God and us. Therefore, this sacrifice, this peace, was supposed intended just for the church. For to us a child is born. To us, he referred to Israelites, covenant people of God. In the context of the New Testament, we are those people. That to us referred to us, Christians. Question for you. Do you believe that the whole world can go to heaven? 
Do you believe that Jesus came for the whole world? Oh, John 3, 16 says, for, for God so loved the world. There are heaps and heaps and heaps, piles of books and study that we need to go through in order to get that verse settled. One of the verses, let me tell you, church, not everyone will make it to heaven. Not every church koa will make it to heaven. Only those who believe in his name and do his will. And why that happened? Because God chose us to be doers and to be believers of his words. <laughs> we were dead. We, don't, we were not just drowning. We were drowned. We were not just dying. We were dead, lifeless, breathless, aimless, hopeless. Nothingness was ours. There was no life in us. Therefore, we cannot choose. And God took the initiative, sent his son to have this peace between who? Between us and God. When we talk about peace, we talk about reconciliation. When we talk about reconciliation, we are talking about parties, two or more. And this reconciliation brings us together. Oi, O Jesu Christo. That's what Christmas brings, people. Not the peace as the world think. Not the peace for, between God and the world. No. No, 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 no. Because this is the thing you think about. We, we already believe that God can do anything, right? But how come God cannot save everyone? How come God cannot bring peace to everyone? You know why? Because that was not his intention. The word will never come into one. Let me assure you this true church, there will be never a time the world and the church will come together. Never. The church will continue to be the enemy of the world. Matter of fact, Jesus says, being friend with the world is the, being the enemy of God. Therefore, the church and the world will never become one. It will never. It will never. We've been praying a wrong prayer all the time. So. We've been believing in all the wrong peace for so long. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. Is it peace for the world? No. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. On earth. You know why on earth is there? Because we are not in heaven yet. Those who have been recipients of this favor, you and I, who are still living in the world. That's why it says, heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. We have the favor of God through Christ. Amen. We are his recipients. Thank God that he called us recipients community church. We grace recipients. We've been recipients of that grace. That's really what we are. And any Christian is a recipient of that grace. So as a Christiano, John 14, 27, he says, Peace I live with you. <laughs> Who Jesus was talking here? Who Jesus was talking to over here? He was talking to his disciples. He says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. He only gave that peace to Christians, believe it or not. <laughs> he only gave that peace to Christians. Not to anyone. Because you're probably wondering, why, why, every, why the whole world can't believe this truth? Why the whole world cannot have peace? Well, that's the answer. You know why? Because God did not give it to them. <laughs> that's why Christianity is being blamed since Christ's time up to this very moment. They said, we are selfish. We are self-righteous. We, 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 we think of ourselves only, we, only, we always say we're the only true religion. <laughs> well, if you, if, you, if you don't think we, we have the only true religion, so what else are the true religions? <laughs> what are other true religions? And we humbly 
saying that in agreement with what Jesus said. <laughs> Two people or two parties are not agreeing together. One is a Christian, another one is not. One is, a, is chosen, one belongs to the world. And the two cannot come together. And if two parties work together, two things again. That are two both are under the dominion of the world and the God of this world, which is Satan, or two are under the dominion and the ruling and the lordship of Christ. Melia, I would have fifth if a vessel. I would I would have fifth if a vessel in. That's the sign. Or if I long on a law, someone believing the truth. Someone got it right. Someone got it fully wrong. Nothing is impossible to God for an old tour. Jesus said that a, that a decision to follow him would mean changes in relationships. Because there must be a change somewhere. I'm not, I'm, I'm not suggesting you leave your old friends, no. But let me tell you this truth do you get that? Listen to your mom and dad. Why? Because I know your mom and your dad is a Christian. Your father is a Christian. Your mom is a Christian. And as long as they are Christian, listen to your parents. Why? Because that's what the Lord says. He says, honor your father and mother in the Lord, for this is good. It's a good thing. <laughs> we vowed before God that we will work together with the parents to bring up these children in our church. I'm glad I saw Saul this morning. <laughs> I didn't see mercy. But you know what? That's why we have that vow before God. We're going to contribute. We're going to help the parents bring up these children in the knowledge of God with hoping one day they will become Christian. They will receive their Lord and their Savior to be their God. only need the fix. It's a sign that there's something need to be fixed. <laughs> One of you is evil. One of us is lying. One of us is not believing the whole truth. For my, do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. Jesus wants us to change our mind. So you know, my father, so you know, we know. We have the knowledge, bigger knowledge, but wrong knowledge. This is the true knowledge. What we ought to change our mind and think of this. He did not come to bring peace, but the sword. Ele sa Jesu e mai le file mu. Aul pelu. And that's what we're supposed to be. As Christians, 
because we are part of one body. Then I find my polo mocking in a vanga, or vanga in a elechino carisu. My own if I pay now, and in the church, that's how we're supposed to be. But we are talking about our relationship with the world. We can never become one. For my for my God, Jesus, do not think that I have come to bring peace. If you are. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace you know, to the earth, cosmos, to the world. <laughs> wrong concept, wrong thought. And that's why there is a command for me. I want to go to this particular church. I'm talking about all Christians' church. <laughs> Tell me if I find my ilunga ole manatu se se lea. Ole a, na sao yesu e a mai le file mu. Ile lolo lang. Ele se file mu lolo lang. Ele se file mu le va ole lotu ma le lolo lang. Pa ole file mu me sao yesu a mai ole va ole lotu ma le atua. Church, the peace that Jesus came to bring is the peace between the church and God, not the world and God. <laughs> You probably say, oh, he says for the world, for God to love the world. But go a pair for God to love the world because God allow us, we'll see that. <laughs> Jesus knew these guys still can't click with this truth that he didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. The word think there, or suppose, or think, somebody who put a wing up, a fire to Because the word is, is nomos, nomos means law, but the word there is nomiso, means something according to the law. Kikilar falliunga, it also means to accustom. A fasa mo la kamai lava, a wa, or a fama sani, a fa pelaf perfection kalet to a makaletu, a wa fama sani manatulana. I want to not for, do not enjoy that thought. Do not enjoy that lies. Jesus came to bring peace. Do not dwell there. Do not abide there. Do not dwell there. Do not live. Do not entertain that lie. Jesus did not come to bring peace. Well, look for I'm a person who I feel mu. The whole world fear comes on. Come on, say Jesus. Hello, yeah, I love to feel mu. Or feel a mulan saw a sue and might mole lotu, ole le linga ale tua mountainata. Men are getting among Lalo Langi, a male Christiano because they dwell, they being accustomed, they being fama sangi, they being dwelling in a male ole or to say or feel a mula lot. So there's something that needs to change. <laughs> Let me go see our minds. Change the way we think. In other words, you, you're allowed to think, but don't think like that. Don't think that Jesus came to bring peace. I think, I'm not going to say, you, we, we feel bad. That's why we need to do evangelism. Because think of this. What makes you think? While I'm talking, people dying and go to hell. After church, people will still die and go to hell. We are applicated, but we are applicated with this truth. A yay love tangata following, a yay love tangata following, or cancara following, for fear of a yala to ya tato. Nisso lato, or recipients juma, or le file mule. I am Macauma, my lover, Pels Kaikako, Ilfa Kumunga and Femayesu. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Great so I may feel a mule. When you have a sword, what do you, what do, you do with it? Sword speaks of 
of war. So it speaks of killing, dividing, cutting. Songi, a kipi, a kui, a fasioki, mengal pelu fai. And Jesus said, I did not come to bring peace. I came to bring sword. Being a Christian, it's a make us kiss young boy. It's a make us kiss young kafao, a young woman pelu. We are in the midst of the war, Fana Oletua. It is fine, no matter how we are going to help him. If you are going to help him, you are going to help him. You are going to help him. Efficiency. All the other armors is for the defense. Only one weapon is for the offense, and that is the sword. Now, ole ole pelu ole upu ale tua. Tato faftai le tua mojusi masi. Aya tato ilo le tua ai ngasau ngasau wa Yesu. Ele isau mose le lenga o tato malo langi ngasau mo le lenga o tato malo tua. Well, don't take me wrong here. I, I always be careful. Kira, bye. Kira fa pu fa me ang fa me kala polu. I agree with that. But it's supposed to be us influence the world. It's supposed to be us model the world, whether they follow us or, or not. We're not going to change. Do not allow the world to be our model. Our model is this guy that came 2,000 years ago. We follow him. We follow him. And that's how this thing is supposed to be. Don't copy the world. Do not imitate the world. Follow Christ, and then the world will follow us. Not everyone will follow us. Only those who the Father will what? May I ask you? Everyone that comes to me is drawn by who? By the Father. You are here because the Father draw you here. <laughs> Alanga gets young, it is so late. It is so poco, it is so malamalam and theology and doctrines. No, it's the Father that draw you here to be a Christian. It's the Father that awaken your deadness. I have a little kako kako me a kirisimasia. People will always say, uh, May the spirit of Christmas be with you. <laughs> If they only know the spirit of Christmas. And so you see, my dear, my long lua, my my mul mulet fear for so I long ang alene. Taya, yatato sa uni away ay swing. Be ready, because there will be changes in your relationships. In your relationships. <laughs> Sauni awa ye swinga ya wo malo ainga eni si otato u fa pe na unga ingo sia unga le fa ma kirishano eni si otato u fa pe na una unga fesili ngia le moni otato e kala sia eni si o pe na unga fa ye kala I'm not saying o o kanga kala fa ku ya o mo kingo a sa o le me nga nga fa Ele fua sele lei le olanga ele tua ele lofangia o etangata. When everyone loves you, that that's not a sign you're doing fine. Gotta be careful. Makala Yesu, makala Yesu. Woe to you when everyone speaks well of you, for that is how the ancestors treated the false prophets. You know what the false prophets were praised by the by these evil people because they preached, they told the people what people want to hear. Menga ka we kanga ko le tuo ma moi aje a le ngole ma moi fasu soso e mo mia le 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 ma moi a fe meka la kuspa ya i fe mai oita lo fe ya te oto pe a te oto la le le tanga te uma ya te oto a se amo fe mai Jesus ka lo fe o ko pe a vi i oto tanga te fe mai a wasa fa pe a lava ona fa i o la tu tama i perfecta pelu 
Me nga I always pe mangi ke o kingo a fa ma jesi ma nga ya la la. I thank God I'm not a, a great popular eloquent preacher. And I thank God for that because I'm just human. I fear fears kakola unga man ka ko me fa i mangi a unga sa ve ma fa tile tu ma ka lo ya ya fa i lo ma i pe lo na finangan. I appreciate your appreciation of, of what we're doing. <laughs> because we are just human. Verse 35. My God almost finished, my Lord. Don't For my for I have come to turn a man against her mother, a daughter against her mother. What is the what is the sword that he's talking about? That is the sword. Olea or Lili Wala Kali Fasan Kaul Kama, Kur Kama Fasan Kaula Kali, or Tora in law against her mother in law. You know, I thought this mother in law thing is, is a new thing. <laughs> it was there in the time of, of Christ. <laughs> Mother-in-law, we always say mother-in-law, mother-in-law, mother. It was there in the time of Jesus. And I don't, there, there must be a curse somewhere that is not mentioned somewhere here. Maybe it's there, but I, I couldn't find it. I haven't found it yet. Because I always hear this thing, mother-in-law, mother-in-law. It seems like the son-in-law, the daughter-in-law always have something natural crutch against the mother-in-laws. <laughs> Alef America Kori, Makala Yesu, Okere Sao Mosefile, Mu, or Melango So, and Mike, Olea, a man, this is, I have come to turn. I will turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter in law against her daughter in law. That's, that's, let me tell you this to you. You know, that's not why Jesus came. Falong Fale, Falong Fale, Maka of America, I see, Polo Fisanga, Unga, this come along, Unga, Unga, Fame. I said, Bruce, but I pick Fi Loling. The sword that Jesus is talking about here is not the purpose of his coming. It's the effects of his coming. You know, we don't have to look for enemies. We we'll always have enemies. Matter of fact, we have enemies. <laughs> if our gospel were received in peace, it would not be the true gospel. If everyone pine in and praise us for what we preach and teach, my Lord, we are calling the history of Christianity, then our gospel would not be the true gospel. This gospel is like a filter. You Jesus said that a decision to follow him would need changes in relationship. If I know my is winger, it will start For me, for I have come to turn a man. But we can't help it. That's the truth. <laughs> what Jesus come? Our mama is saying, "Ele kupu kono lok, e kupu ele tama wa iloale tua malakali ele iloale tua. E kupu le mada inloa wa mata ule tua malitora inloa ele iloye su." Because Christ's body cannot be divided. Ele tupu tutong ole ole lotu le mele ole si me mahali ele ele upunga to turn. You know, for me. I have come to turn. That word, it's called in Krama, infinitive verb. It's a verb that always comes with two. I have come to turn. What that tells us, Jesus did not come to just muck around 
and delay or have good time waiting for the right time. No, he come for this what to turn. <laughs> No, he came with this plan. But what Jesus is trying to, to clarify here is this. It's not o satan al tatu o tua la o le tua na fa yele langi malela lang church we need to keep reminding ourselves of who we are and what we ought to be we need to have a mindset that is right what's a right mindset our cries in this time christmas as we celebrate he came to bring sword he came to clarify. He came to make it stand out. This truth, what? The church is different. The world is different. And the church has nothing to do with the world. We operate by God. The, church, uh, the world operates by the ruling of the God of this world. And that is Satan. Pointing to Jesus. Since the start, up to this very moment, even when Jesus comes back, this is the church. This is the world. Can, two can never come together. <laughs> we have our own way of living. They have their own way of living. We have our gospel. They have their gospel. We have our God. They have, our go they have their God. <laughs> but we are told to witness where? Into the world. We win them, not get won by them. Well, this leaves us. Commit to God in prayers. Commit to God, studying of His Word. Because that's what I want. That's what God wants. That's what we need. The talo mafai kalkus pa iya. And then you tattoo a law and a fashion of my. The Talamo tattoo a inga, the Talamo tattoo far now. I miss the tattoo to Talamo lana kalesi and I tattoo ya umma. It to tonu ole finangalo ole tua. Sao keriso in a fapena on avatula na kalesi. Fala inga lana kalesi. I saw far lua for la keriso. You know, when he came before, the Bible announced by the angels that. He was a king. He was born a king. But he came that first time as a servant. When he come again, he will come not just a king, but as a judge. He's going to come back for his church. It's not going to come back for any other thing outside the church. And that's why we are here, Fanaolia Tua. That's why I'm here. That's why Pastor Anna Koying are here. Study the word together with you. Teach you the word of God. So when the bridegroom come, we will present his bride spotless. And how are we going to do that? By following the guidance of the word of God. Merry Christmas once again. Let's pray. <laughs> Gracious God of Father, Matu, the Iamafama Nuina Lo Suafa, Paftaita Ma, this is one of the truths that we ought consider. We often consider a hard truth, O oh Lord, but we thank you for your Holy Spirit who softens our heart, cultivates our, our hearts, O oh Lord, so we can be receptive of this hard-to-believe truth. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. 
that you lead us. We thank you for your word that you guide us with. Of Taita Maya of Yonga, of Taila of Sosuani Mai, of Tai Ewina Le Ato Toma Vai Vai, the Mefanga Wanga Yo Ao, Awa E Sauno Mai, Yo Tangata, Eala Yao Mefanga Wanga Le Tua, of Taila Wekale Sia Wae for I Maile Tua Mato Tengalu Luai. We thank you for each and every soul in this room, O Lord, for we believe that you have called us into this ministry. And as you call us into this ministry, Lord, we believe that you also provide tools and weapons for us to work in this ministry, O Lord. We thank you for the pastors. We thank you for the elders. We thank you for the fathers and the mothers, our children, and all the departments in this ministry, O Lord. For we know they are all gifts of yours to your church. We am of Taila Ufio, Mato Yail and Eva Tau or Mato Mana to Natu, Mavava Yatu Le Mea Lofa Silina, Fayamo Imato, Alale Yesu, the Mama to TV, Yam of Taya Oe, Famanuina Lo Suafa, Fava Vau, Ono Yesu, Amen, Amen.